Things have generally been bad here for the squatters, the people who came here hoping for a better life and just got stuck. But lately, the mood has changed. The squatters seem to be a bit more optimistic. I wonder what happened. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? In the area between the north and east gates is the old Mormon fort, where the followers of the apocalypse have set themselves up. The followers aren't a bad bunch, and provide healing and supplies to the people of Freeside as they can. I got more where that came from. Want another? Caught a rumor the other day that some of the clientele over at the Wrangler have been making some rather strange requests. Stuff like weirdos wanting the... <clears throat> services of ghouls and such. I almost have half a mind to volunteer myself. Sexy beast that I am. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? He might not look it, but Ralph for Mick and Ralph's is no slouch with a keyboard. I've heard he's helped reprogram several robots in his time. I got more where that came from. Want another? There's a rumor that a huge army is camped to the east, massing to attack the NCR. Like that it ever happened. Who in the world could stand up to the NCR and win? What do you say? Want another tip? A traveler that passed through here not long ago told everyone he met that there's some kind of plant paradise to the west, where food is abundant. All the people foolish enough to listen to him and head out that way never came back. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? People in Freeside generally fall into one of two categories. Those who've been here all their lives call themselves locals. When people from the NCR and other places started pouring in, the locals began referring to them as squatters, and the name stuck. The locals blame the squatters for the scarcity of resources in Freeside, and the squatters blame any act of violence against them on the locals. They're both right to some extent, and violent outbreaks between the two are all too common these days. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? I heard something about a town south of here being attacked, but details are sketchy. All I know is there haven't been any refugees showing up here. Which means either the attack wasn't too bad, or it was very, very bad. I got more where that came from. Want another? I've heard people passing through mention some kind of underground fights pitting creatures of the waste against one another for sport. And when I say underground, that's their word I'm using, not my own. What do you say? Want another tip? There's a guy out on the main drag who sells second-hand adventuring gear. He's got an okay selection. But where does it come from? That one was pretty good, right? How about another? Mention the NCR and people around here get a little on edge. There's talk that they're going to take over all of New Vegas. It doesn't help that they've got military camps all over the place, and more troops pour into the area daily. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? East of Freeside, there's an old Air Force base, judging by the road signs. No one knows for sure what's in there, though, on account of anyone approaching the place getting violently blown up. What do you say? Want another tip? There was a rumor a while back that the White Glove Society was really an all-ghoul gang, which is why they wear those weird masks of theirs. What do you think? Would I look good in a mask? Maybe I'd make more caps. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? Northwest of the Big Freeside sign is a casino called the Atomic Wrangler. It's not as fancy as the ones on the Strip, but there's still plenty of excitement to be found there. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? The chairman run a casino on the strip called The Tops. It's a pretty classy place by all reports. I haven't been there myself, but I hear security there is kinda tight. 
That one was pretty good, right? How about another? Drugs are everywhere in Freeside, and even people you might not expect have become addicts. Jacob Hoff, for instance. That man was a brilliant chemist before he picked up the habit. Now, just another junkie. That King Pacer's a fan of Jet, too. Though I heard one of the followers talking about it being dangerous for him. Something about his heart. Do yourself a favor and stay away from that stuff, okay? I got more where that came from. Want another? While everyone knows Mr. House runs New Vegas, no one knows the first thing about him. He just sort of showed up a few years back, and everything you see around you is the result. Just who in the hell is he? What do you say? Want another tip? Have you been to Mick and Ralph's yet? They run a store just down the street and sell some things you might not expect. What do you say? Want another tip? At the northwest end of Fremont Street, you'll find the Silver Rush. It's run by a rather scary family called the Van Graffs. These are not people you want to mess with. But if lasers and such are your thing, the goods they sell are second to none. What do you say? Want another tip? The Strip is run by the three families, who owe their allegiance to Mr. House. When he first showed up, he gave the local tribes the choice of working with him, or getting the hell out of his way. Given how things turned out, I know which way I'd have gone. But hindsight's 2020, right? That one was pretty good, right? How about another? Traders have been griping for a while now about I-15 being too dangerous to travel. I'd steer clear of it unless you're armed to the teeth. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? Have you tried going to the strip only to be stopped by those big metal murder machines? Happens every day around here. But if you know the right people, you can get through the gate without being a rich man. I got more where that came from. Want another? Saw a strange thing the other day. The king took that robo-dog of his over to the old Mormon fort. Weird thing was that the dog was flipping out and had to be restrained by a few of the king's men. Hope he doesn't get loose. I got more where that came from. Want another? I probably don't have to tell you that Freeside's dangerous but you might want to think twice about hiring one of those guards at the gates. They're not all saints, is all I'm saying. I got more where that came from. Want another? The Omertas, one of Mr. House's three families, run a casino called Gamora on the Strip. If you thought the Wrangler was something, you owe it to yourself to go there. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? If you've been around the Kings, you may have met one of them named Pacer. He's always stomping around trying to show off his authority. Being new, you weren't around when it happened, but a few months ago Pacer pissed off the Van Graaff family big time. No one knows what went down, but word is the Van Graaffs still want him dead. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? I've heard the Garretts over at the Atomic Wrangler are having a hard time collecting some money owed to them. An enterprising person like yourself might be able to make some caps helping them with their little problem. What do you say? Want another tip? Ever hear of the Gunrunners? They sell just about every kind of firearm you can imagine. And some you probably couldn't. I got more where that came from. Want another? I understand. Well, have a good day.